Now, this is what we call a freedom handle. And it comes, you can get them on their own. If you've already got a lead, you can get an individual one with a big ring and a fleecy handle. Or you can get integrated leads. Now, this one is a new thing that they do, uh, Tilly Farm produce, which is an adjustable lead. So what this is, is allows you to adjust the length of the lead depending on the length of your dog, or the size of your dog rather, <laughs> not the length of your dog, the size of your dog. So for a small dog, you know, you can make this longer, or if you're just wanting to let your dog roam. So with my dogs, um, generally know that if they are on a single point of contact on the back of the harness, they're allowed to just snuffle around and do what they like. They're not under any close kind of walking or anything like that. And on this one, you can just clip the handle onto the end and you can do that at whatever length you like. But you can then just lip whip that through, connect to the front, and suddenly you have a lead that will flow through the handle. Now, what's really interesting about this, and you're all going to try this later, and, and what, what a lot of people say when they first use this is, oh, I don't like that. And the reason they don't like it is that they no longer feel in control. And I always say, well, that's good. <laughs> Not feeling in control is a good thing. <laughs> Because we like to micromanage, we like to really feel that we're in control, that every step our dog takes is under our control. And that. You are no less in control of your dog on this than you are on two points of contact or anything else. Your dog is not able to go any further away from you on this. I recommend people use this because actually your dog... Will, it'll have a similar effect to the stroke in the lead. Your dog doesn't, you are not grabbing the lead. The dog is able to just balance themselves. And so for a lot of dogs, just being on one of these as opposed to on a lead that's fixed and you're holding the end of and therefore putting some tension in, they suddenly stop pulling and suddenly you get this kind of miraculous almost walking on a loose lead because the dog's no longer got anything to pull against. The other good thing about this is if you do have a dog that reacts in something and you have a habit, which a lot of us have, of you see another dog coming and you go, yeah, and you grab the handle or you want to hold it like that. A lot of people who have a dog that can be reactive want to hold the handle, really, the lead really tight, yeah, because they want to feel they've really got them and they've got them around their wrist and all the rest. That, if you do that on this lead, suddenly automatically puts tension in the lead. You do that on this handle, make any difference to the dog, yeah? You're just doing it, you're just holding on. So you feel better because you're holding on tight. Your dog doesn't feel that tension, so they're not getting worried about what's coming. You feel like you've got hold of them. It's just giving your dog choice, giving your dog the freedom to make good decisions rather than actually making them do stuff that we want them to do. And this is great for that. Mm -hmm.